And for that green luscious lawn, but with this heat, it becomes a little harder to achieve. Not to mention some parts of central Texas are still dealing with water restrictions. So what can we do to keep our yard as healthy as possible? YNN's Bonnie Gonzalez is at a home in northwest Austin to show us how. Bonnie? So we all kind of know maybe the basic three points to keeping our lawns healthy, right? We have to mow our lawns, fertilize them, water them, of course. But we want to give you some tips on a few tools to help you do that, to stay on top of it, if you will. So this is one of them. This is a soil master here. Check this out. This is a little meter here to measure the moisture in your lawn. So I'm just going to stick this in the ground here, and you'll see that little meter go up. Um, what's neat about this is it also uh, measures the alkaline there and the acid. And uh, joining me is Jerry here with uh, Real Green Pest and Lawn. Thank you so much for letting us in your beautiful front yard here. So tell me a little bit more about this tool. I mean, this is a great little tool. You said it costs maybe, what, five bucks? Yeah, it's under ten dollars. You can find them at the big box stores. Yeah, I've heard repeatedly about sticking a screwdriver in the, in the soil to check for moisture. You know, even I don't know how to do that. We've got a heavy clay soil with rocks and everything else. How are you going to do that? Get yourself one of these. You can check the uh, moisture content of your, your house plants as well. So it's a great thing to have. Uh, as far as fertilization, a quick tip. Fertilize on the three major holidays, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day. Um, doing it that way, you won't forget. Use a slow-release fertilizer with a little bit of sulfur in it. Mow high all summer. Mow frequently during the summer. And you'll have a healthy lawn. All right, great tips. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Good to know it's not too late to fertilize because I haven't done that yet. So I'll have to hop on it. And uh, just goes to show that even with our watering restrictions, there are still some things that you can do to have that lush, green, luscious lawn, just like this one here in Jerry's front yard. Chie. It looks so good. It almost looks fake. Thank you, Bonnie. The city of Austin is in stage two water restrictions, which means you can only water once a week. Now make sure to check with each city for water restrictions in your area.